Yeah. Lift up your hands unto Jesus. Just begin to bless his holy name. Out of my bellies. Come on, just begin to bless him right here. Come on, begin to magnify the name of the Lord in this place. Magado Jabaha. Libahado Jabrante Tedede Bojata. Ligadimi Atanana Mago Jabrante. Come on, lift up your voice in this place. Lift up your voice in this place. Come on, begin to bless him. Rabago Jalala Badimi Hatoni Mi Hatada Dada Bojabaya. Rapa Papa Pala Badona Nana Brajabada Brantaba. Lake de 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 Bojabaya. Rapa Papa La Brajala La Brada Bojabada Baya. Come on, lift up your voice in this place. Out of my belly, shall your rivers, rivers of living waters, be on your earth. Out of my belly, come on, bless it. Lift up your voice and bless it. Rivers of living waters, be on your earth. Sing it, 
for the rest of eternity. My daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy. Yeah. Your baby is singing. Ha! I'll be singing and dancing and shouting for the rest of eternity. Say, my father, my father, my father. Shouting for the rest of eternity. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father. My father. Your baby is singing. Your baby is singing. Yeah. I'll be singing and dancing and shouting for the rest of eternity. He who sits in heaven loves. He who sits in heaven loves. He will sit in heaven love. And so, hey. Father, we give you worship. I see in heaven, so I love. Hey. We will sit in heaven love. Somebody come on, begin to worship we him in this place. In Lift up your voice and come on, worship him in this place. He will sit in heaven love. I see in heaven, so I love. Father, we give you worship. We give you praise. We ask that you have your way in this meeting, oh God. Let us encounter you in a name different way.
bro. Shut up. Just lift up your hands and begin to worship him. There is a lot of God in the atmosphere right now. As you worship, I see chains breaking off you. As you worship, I see angels draw presents to you. The angels in this house are activated this afternoon. I see things shifting in your favor right here. I see the hand of God touching you and exalting you to the place where you belong. Come on, begin to pray in the language of the Spirit. Mahado Shaba. Legrado Shalelebe Sata. Rababa Babalosh Kabranta Tali Mikato Shaya. Lebrado Shalana Branta. Rababa Bakalo Shabranta. Leke de 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 Boshabaya. Rababa Labrada Bakoshete. Lebaba Boshalala Baya. Come on, lift up your voice right here. 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 Lepa Yakado Shata. Rabababa Bakaton de de Behaya. Come on, don't be a watcher. Just be in the spirit and lift up your voice. Ilabado Shaba. Rabababa Balua Kadede de Bro Shata. Hey, Malu Shabadia Anta. Hey, Selelele Kapa. Rabababala Branta Tania Tata. Rabababalia Tata. Rabababalia Tata. Rabababalia Tata. Rabababalia Tata. Lift up your head. in our prayer lives, a revival in our steady lives, a revival oh God in our commitment to you Holy Spirit Father let there be a stirring up of every heart, of every spirit that is gathered in here in the name of Jesus let none live here the same 
Let us leave with a deposit from heaven. Let us leave feeling we have had an encounter with you. Sweet Holy Spirit, minister to your people tonight. In an unusual way. In the name of Jesus. I see God visit men this afternoon. Some of you, your life after today will never be the same. For there is a shift in the spirit. There is an encounter you are having right now that is going to move you to another dimension in God. Ah, God is calling you to deeper waters and, and to higher highs and to another realm of him. Kato shabranti mahadis kahatea. Libra adus kaprasindi apalua ates. E makula atua atibriantos. Evelia matoshate. There is a realm God is calling you into right here. Ah, as you lift up your hands, I see the hand of God touching you and shifting you to a new dimension in your walk with God. A new dimension, a new dimension, a new dimension, a new dimension, a new dimension of the spirit. Ligaba labra. Sote enough of swimming in shallow waters of the spirit. It is time to launch deeper in God. It is time to launch deeper in God. It is time to launch deeper in God. It is time to launch deeper. Father, we give you thanks and we give you glory. For a move of your spirit. In the name of Jesus. And everyone shouted amen. amen. Father we give you thanks. Brood over us. Speak to us. In Jesus name. Amen. Somebody be seated in the heavenly places. Some people are still drunk in the spirit. Appreciate the choir. Come and give us atmosphere as you sit down. Chains be broken, break out. Holy Spirit, come now. Heaven open, heaven open. I must be Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, today your life will never, ever be the same again. If you believe that, put your hands together for Jesus. God willing, from the 2nd of April all the way through to the 30th of June, we are having our 90 days of prayer. Somebody say 90 days of prayer. It's a 90 days of a prayer revival that we are going to Pania in the city. And for the 90 days, I will be based here and it shall be mega. Somebody say mega. It's going to be, we are going, we, I believe that God is calling men and women into higher realms. Somebody say higher realms into deeper waters, into a dimension beyond the normal. Hallelujah. And those who are ready, God is going to soar with you to another dimension of the spirit within this 90 days. Hallelujah. So prepare your heart and your mind. It's not 90 days of fasting and prayer, just 90 days of prayer. But every Wednesday and Friday we will be fasting. Hallelujah. So prepare your heart for that and the Lord God is going to bless you. Amen. Yes, yeah, so, and uh, on the 3rd of March, we'll be having our next Kesha, amen, our official opening Kesha for the ministry, amen. So, every once a month, we'll be having a Kesha, someone say once a month, and it's going to be the first Friday, sorry, the first Friday of the month, say the first Friday, shout it, say the first Friday, 
So the first Friday of every month to know there is going to be a mega Kesha. Shout mega Kesha. Yes, it's going to be a worship experience and a mega Kesha here. And from 9.30 p.m. all the way through to 4 a.m. here in this auditorium. Amen. So prepare your heart and your mind. Make sure if you are coming, you come on time so that you can get a good seat. Amen. Yes, so 3rd of March, we'll be running our first official Kesha here. And we're going to have um, gospel artists uh, by the name of God Will Babet to come and minister unto us here. Hallelujah. Yes, so he's going to be with us at the Kesha all through. And then also on a Sunday morning, that is the fifth and in both services. Hallelujah. It's going to be an awesome time. Somebody say an awesome time. Yes, in the presence of the Lord. So get your heart ready, your spirit ready as we are about to soar in the spirit. Hallelujah. Yes, so let's prepare our hearts for what God is about to do. And God willing, next month, um, I think is it the 12th of, uh, of, of March, we will be starting our next month, I think the month of March, we'll be starting our feeding program. Amen. To be feeding all the neighbors that are struggling with food in this city. Oh, you are not, are you not happy with that? Yeah. See, we, we want to make sure we touch them with the love of God. We, anybody in our neighborhood around this part of town that somehow they don't even have food to eat, we will make sure we are going to start to feed them. We're going to feed hundreds and thousands of of Nairobians to the glory of God. Amen? So if you want to help, partner, support it, you can um, also um, um, support that vision. We'll, see, it is not good for you to just eat alone. There are people who stay hungry without food. Amen? Yes, so we, were, we used to do that even before, I mean, as a ministry, before we started church, but now we want to touch lives and impact lives accordingly, and I know that heaven will bless us. Amen? Are you blessed you came to church? Yeah, I put up a rule in the first service, those of you that were not in, that from now I will preach different sermons in the two services. Amen? So what the sermon I will preach in the first service will be completely different from the sermon I will preach in the second service. But somehow, by, with time, we'll see how best to share both in uh, other, after some time, I'll try to reverse the curve so that what is being taught in the f second service, so that the sp those that come in the first service will be able to know. Because actually, I am led to be doing prophetic teachings in the second service. Somebody say prophetic teachings. Prophetic. It's not the usual teachings you hear in church or you hear around. It's the deep realms and things that is, is, is going to be, it's gonna be a, an exciting walk in the spirit. Amen. So, so just prepare your heart for the things I'll be teaching in the second service. I mean, they are, they, are, they, are, they are strange, powerful, and prophetic teachings that will help you. Amen? Yes. Like today, I'm speaking on the seven spirits that contend with man. See, those things are not things you usually hear. The seven, that's what I'm saying, they are going to be prophetic teachings on the Sunday afternoon services. So if you are not very deep and mature, I'll tell you, I will advise you come for the morning service so that you don't get lost. Like, now, what is this? What is seven spirits? I mean, I want to hear Jesus loves me, you know? <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be a bit deeper. Somebody say deeper. deeper. Yes, we're going, to, we're going to be launching deeper and getting deeper into the spirit. Now, one thing I want you to know, the first thing I want you to know is that man is a spirit. Somebody say man is a spirit. One, the first thing you need to un understand is that you are a spirit. You are not just a body. The real you is a spirit. Somebody say, I am a spirit. Now shout it with conviction like your voice is you'll say, I am a spirit. The real you is a spirit, but now this part of you, this flesh is your container. It is the container that houses your spirit. Are you following me? Yes, you are a spirit that lives in a body. The real man is a spirit that has a soul that lives in a body. So man is a spirit that has a soul that lives in a body. Say, I am a spirit. I have a soul that lives in a body. So what connects the spirit you, that is the real you, 
to your body is your soul. Are you following me? The, the link between the container and the true you is your soul. Let me give you a, a clear, basic example. I mean, it's the simplest example I can use to drive the message. How many of you have had dreams before? You have had dreams before? Wonderful. You've had a dream before. Wonderful. At least almost every one of us here have had a dream before. Now, number two, have you had a dream and it's like you are going through pain in the dream, you are being attacked in the dream and you feel it. Don't you feel it in your dream? But your body will still be lying down. So the question is, how come you are able to feel the pain and the frustration in the dream, but your body will still be lying down? That tells you there is another dimension of you that is not this body. Are you following me? There is a dimension of you that is beyond the flesh, your body. There is a dimension of you that, that, that is able to connect to another realm even when your body is not there. That is why I can be here. And I will say my, spirit, my eyes have opened and I am seeing something. In Bungoma. I am not in Bungoma but I am here. But the, the, the difference between the realm where someone can stand in Nairobi and see something in Bungoma. Is the same way like you can. You, some of you have had dreams that you were in America. You were asleep and you saw yourself in Las Vegas. And you woke up and you still realize you are still in Kahawa. Sometimes, let me tell you. One day I nearly fought with my brother some years ago. I had a dream and I was having a lot of dollars in a truck. I was driving a truck and the truck was full of dollars. And as I was driving, some, was, some were falling. And I got out of the car on the highway. And I locked it. I didn't want some to fall. <laughs> so as I was driving, in my dream, I was driving to make sure that I get to the house. with the, Because it looks like nobody was chasing me. But I felt like I need to rush and get home. And as I was rushing to get home, imagine. This boy comes to wake me up. I was so mad. I felt like, why did you wake me up? At least let me get home with the money. You know, you, you, you capture a revelation, but you can still be on your bed. So the real you is a spirit that can see things even when you are, your physical body is not active. So the difference between a prophet and a normal person is that the prophet has trained their spirit, my God, to be able to connect to another realm, to be able to receive messages and signals from the spirit that an ordinary man cannot do. So the realm of the spirit is not any strange realm. Like I was giving a testimony in the first service. How many of us watched the Grace Encounter in Ghana? I mean, you watched it online. How many of you were, were privileged to watch it online? Okay. Yeah. Now, those of you that didn't watch, don't worry. I mean, that was last week, Saturday. I was ministering to a woman who was in the service in, in Accra. And I said, I see there is I see fire in your house. I asked her, do you have a house in Dallas, Texas? She says, yes. I said, I see fire in your house. We need to pray that your house does not catch fire. Guess what? Yesterday, the woman calls me. Her house is in Dallas. She calls me. Her house is, I think, number 10. She says, from the first few houses, like eight coming, it's caught fire. See, the houses in abroad, it's like in, in, in line like that. So, the first one got fire, and the fire was supposed to spread to hers. But to the glory of God, because prophecy had already gone forth, her house could not get burnt. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Yeah, so... By the prophetic revelation, something evil that was meant to happen to her was revealed. And so her life and her house was preserved. So, as a spirit, you can train your inner man, which is your spirit, to be able to pick signals from the spirit realm. 
And I pray that God will raise men and women that can pick signals. I was saying in the first service that, you see, some years ago, in 2006, 2008, I fasted for one year, 11 months, because all that I was doing was that I, I was just hungering for God. I wanted God to take me to another realm. Somebody say, another realm. I desired God so much that I didn't just want to be a normal preacher. Come and preach and go home. So that, I mean, I want to get to the realm. I was telling God where somebody can be coming to church. They have a gun on them. And God will reveal that this person has an evil intention. Are you getting my point? I desired another realm. And by the grace of God, God took us there and he's still taking us. Amen? So, the true man is a spirit. That has a soul that lives in a body. Say, I'm a spirit. I have a soul that lives in a body. Go with me to Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. It's a very favorite, popular scripture. Genesis 2, 7. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Man is the only creature that is able to operate in the spirit realm and also in the physical realm. There are two basic realms, the physical realm and the spirit realm. The physical realm is the realm of man. The realm where you and I live, this place on earth is called the physical realm. See the physical realm. And the other realm where visions are seen, where things happen is called the spirit realm. See the spirit realm. So in that realm, only spirits are able to operate there. Or people who have trained their spirits to be able to connect to that realm are able to operate in that realm. Man is the only creature created by God that is privileged enough to be able to operate here in the man realm or the earth realm and also in the spirit realm. Because man is the only creature that possesses both the physical component which is the uh, the, the, the dust from the ground and the spiritual component which is the breath that comes from God. Now, the word breath used in Genesis 2 8 is the Hebrew 7 is the Hebrew word ruach. Somebody say ruach. Which means the essence and the spirit of God. That which makes God God. He breathed into dust and the Bible says and the dust became a living soul. Genesis 2, 7. Shall we read? Let's go. Now, the Lord created what? Oh, let's, let's follow the scripture on the screen. One go. The Lord formed man. Uh -huh. That is created the body of man. Are you following me? Let me do some Bible teachings as usual. The Bible says, and the Lord formed man. That is, created the body of man from the dust of the ground. So literally, it is your body that was created from the dust of the ground. Are you hearing me? So dust of the ground is physical, isn't it? You can physically touch dust. So the Bible says, then the Lord formed man. That is, created the body of man from the dust of the ground. And breathed into his nostrils the... The what? Shout it, the what? The breath of life. So that is why when you die, they can cremate you or bury you and nothing else happens because the, this body is just a container. Somebody say container. And according to the scripture, it was formed from what? Dust. Alright? Are you following? So your body was formed from dust. That is why they say, when, you, when they are going at the grave, they say dust goes into what? Dust. So they can bury you and nothing happens. In the same way you can be asleep and still your, your spirit can be hovering around and seeing things and encountering things. In the same way when you die, it is only your body that dies. But your spirit still lives. Goes back to God. Amen? Waiting for judgment. So man was created from the dust of the ground. And God breathed into man the breath of life. It was the breath of life that came from God that made dust a living soul. So, the day, oh my God, the day God decides to take his breath from you, you die. I pray may God continuously keep his breath with you. 
Somebody shout, I received her. May God not take his breath from you. That is why it is only God that can kill a man. Are you following? When God has not allowed you to die, nobody can kill you. Did you hear what I said? When God has not allowed or permitted your death, nobody can kill you premature. So God breathed into man the breath of life. And the Bible says man became a living being. An individual complete in body and in. So the body we heard from here, the body comes from where? Now, let's follow. I'm a Bible teacher. The Bible says he created the body from. Come on, let's follow. He created the body from what? And then the breath of life gave man, man made man a living being. So the Bible says, and man became a living being, an individual complete in body and in. So the body is from the dust and the spirit is from the breath of God. Are you following me? So when the breath of God is taken away from you, that is when you die. But I pray that we are not dying now. The breath of God will continue to be with us. If you are here, shout I receive that. So that is it. So once you understand that man is a spirit, that is why spirits can contend against you. In the battle you are fighting, it's not a battle of the flesh. It's not a battle of human beings. I know somebody is fighting you at work, but there is a spirit behind that battle. I know your brother is misbehaving against you, but there is a spirit behind his actions. No man does anything. Every action of man is influenced by a certain spirit. Every action of man, there is, that, there is a spirit that influences them. That is why when we got born again, God did not leave us the same. He asked what to influence us, the Holy Spirit. We as believers, we are influenced by the Holy Ghost. And there are other people in the world, they are influenced by other spirits. You need to understand that there are spirits that influences men. And women, when you see people behave in a certain way, it is not just them behaving. There is a force, there is an entity, there is a power behind their actions. And when you have a revelation and an insight to know the behavior of this man is not just normal, there is a force behind it. The behavior of this woman is not just normal, there is a force behind it. You will be able to know how to contend and deal with the force behind the actions of men. Are you following me? You see, it is sometimes you look at certain people the way they behave and you realize that it is not natural. Are you hearing me? It is not normal. There are certain, you look at them, it looks beyond normal. Why? Because the behavior and everything about it, their demeanor, it looks weird. Any power behind every evil activity. Today we arrest in the name of Jesus. Even you here now, you, you here now that is born again. Some of the behavior, sometimes you do some things, you sit back and realize, why did I do that? No, have you been there? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you, and sometimes, some years ago, I, I preached a sermon um, 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 uh, and that I titled, I did it, but it was not me. I did it, but it was not me. Those days I started preaching early. The things I used to preach, eh? I did it, but it was not me. I, rely, I stopped preaching that sermon because I realized that when I preach that, many people start to misbehave. They say, prophet, I did it, but it was not me. <laughs> they capitalize on the message and misbehave. Yeah, so now watch this. There is a spirit that influences every action, every behavior of man. Believe it or not. So when we go to Ephesians chapter 6, the Bible puts something strange in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. Let's read from the Amplified. Ephesians 6 12. Let's hear what Apostle Paul says from the original Bible. Ephesians 6 12. Let's hear what Apostle Paul says. Ephesians 6 12. Shall we read one go? Contending only with physical components. Now, Apostle Paul says, let's hold it there before we go. There is a struggle we are going through. He says it is not against flesh and blood. In other words, the battles that you are battling with, the things that are contending, it is not a matter of flesh. It is 
not human. See, if you don't spiritually become astute and sensitive to know there are certain things that you do and are contending with you that are beyond the flesh and your body, my friend, you would always find yourself in trouble. But when you realize the true source of the issue, you know how to deal with it. Are you getting me? He said, for our struggle is not flesh and blood. Our struggle, our battle, it is not flesh and blood. Our contention is not flesh and blood. Everything that you are battling against says our struggle is not flesh and blood. We are not contending with only physical opponents, but against rulers, against powers. Somebody say powers. Shall he say powers? Shall powers? Shall powers? Against the world forces. So everything you see here. Apostle Paul makes us understand that we are in a battle. But the battle is not against flesh and blood, against spirits, against powers, against rulers, against spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places. They are forces that are cont Sometimes, if it was a matter of just physical things, you, you would have broken through a long time. You are too smart to be failing. Look at how beautiful you are. No man is even looking in your direction. You think it is normal. No, are you getting my point? Yes. You are, your CV is big. Nice. The other day, I asked somebody, get me your CV and see what I can do for you. The CV was a whole book. The whole CV was a book. Proper booklet. I'm like, hey, people have studied though. But still, they don't have a job. That is not flesh and blood. That is a spirit that is behind that evil struggle. Any spirit behind your calamity. Any force behind your attack. Today, we decree and declare. Let that force catch fire. Let that force catch fire. Let that force catch fire. If you are here, shout, I receive it. Let me tell you, if your life goes through cycles upon cycle, one thing you see repeatedly happening in your life, it is not natural, it's a force, it's a spirit. It is a force that is contending against your life. Say, for we are fighting, I mean, spiritual wickedness in heavenly supernatural places. Are you, did you hear, did you see this word? The, the spiritual forces, not in this natural, they are in the realms. Katuni mi gadaya. Any supernatural power contending against you, we decree and declare, let it catch fire. Any supernatural force contending against your marriage life, contending against your business, contending against your career, contending against your ministry. Atuni mi gapaye. We decree and declare, let that force catch fire. Let that force catch fire fire. Let that force catch fire in the name of Jesus. There is a force beyond every action and every activity. And so that's why God led me to pen down these particular sermon. The seven forces that contend against man. Seven forces. Seven spirits. The first spirit is the spirit that are called the Memukan spirit. Somebody say Memukan spirit. I told you some of the things you are going to be hearing in Sunday afternoon. Eh? If you don't want trouble, come for the morning service. But if you want to learn some serious things, be here in the afternoon. Somebody say Memukan spirit. See, morning service was very cool and nice and gentle. Serve the Lord. The Lord will bless you as you serve. That's what we taught. We talked about service. But here we are dealing with spirits. Somebody say spirits. Yes. Are you ready? Memukan spirit. What is Memukan spirit? Let's go. Now, I'm, every spirit I'm going, to, I'm going to show you from the scriptures. I'm not saying things from my head. Like I've told you from this pulpit. Never accept something because any man of God said it. Accept it because it is written in scripture. Do you hear me? Don't accept something because a man of God said, 
something can be deep, but it is baseless in the word of God. Someone say, ah, this is deep revelation. But if it's deep and it doesn't have a source in the word, forget it. Are you hearing me? It must be deep and it must be substantiated with scripture. Are we together? Yes. Now let's go. Maybe we can spirit, number one. And I told you that man is a spirit. Somebody say, man is a spirit. So I, I need you to have that foundation and everything, every, the behaviors of men are controlled by spirits. All right? Write that down. Man is a spirit and men, the behaviors of men are controlled by spirits. It is spirits that move men to do what they do. We as believers are said that we have the Holy Spirit that controls our actions, I mean, informs us in, 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 and, and directs us in what we need to do. We as believers, we are controlled by the Holy Ghost. But now, there are other spirits that try to also influence, oppress, and suppress us and even the people of the world. People of the world are also controlled by other spirits. But there are spirits that contend with man. And I said the first one is the Memucan spirit. Go with me to Esther chapter 1 verse 10. Esther chapter 1 verse 10 to 19. Esther chapter 1 verse 10. I like the way these guys are going fast today. I'll buy you dinner. I said, I will. I didn't say when. <laughs> Let's go. Let's read. Let's read. Let's read. One go. On the seventh day, when the king's heart was joyful with wine, in the high spirits, he commanded Mehukan, me Mehukan, uh huh? Bista, uh huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? Uh huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. So the king was in a high spirit. That is King Ahasuerus. The Bible says he was in high spirits and he commanded his most important Enoch to come and be with him. And one of them was Memukan. Mehuman, uh-huh. Let's go next to the next verse. Uh-huh. Sorry. So the Bible says the king was in high spirits. He had taken wine and he was in high spirits. And he told his Enoch, bring Queen Vasti before me, wearing her royal crown to display her beauty before the people and the officials, for she was lovely to see. Vasti was a queen that was very beautiful. So anytime the king has got guests, the king will call for Vasti. And Vasti will come and display, you know, the way they do Miss, Miss, Miss Universe. So she will just come and do those catwalk. Thank you. Yes, do those cut work before the guests to display her beauty. Now, let's hear what happens. So, they called for Queen Vasti. Uh -huh. But Vasti refused to come at the king's command, which was delivered to her by the eunuchs. So, the king became extremely angry and burned with rage. Vasti was called by the king. And the and Vasti refused to go. So the Bible said the king became angry. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the things you need to understand is that especially if you have a king, if you don't have a king and you are waiting for your king, may God help you. Amen. But if you have a king and you are called by your king, as much as possible, it is so much of a disrespect to a king to tell the king that you will not go. Are you hearing me? To refuse to go at the king's command. And she didn't even give a reason. If she had given a reason, I think the king would have understood. Or oh, maybe I'm not able to come because I'm not well or something. This one, she refused to go completely without giving any reason. It was a demonstration of pride. Vasti was beautiful, but she was proud and arrogant. And she allowed her pride to get into the way to an extent that she lost her crown. May pride not get into your way. Yeah. Are you hearing me? She was beautiful, but she was proud. Now the king became angry and burned with rage. Uh -huh. Next verse. Who understood the times? Asking for their advice. Now watch this. 
For it was the custom of the king to speak before all those who were familiar with the law and the, and the legal matters. Uh-huh. And who? And who? Now, this is the one, the guy. So, they are advisors of the king. The king asks, what should be done to Vasti for what she has done? He says, the seven officials of the patient and the median who had access to the king and were ranked in the highest of the kingdom. Let's go to the next verse. Then he said, So the king wanted to um, 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 we give some punishment to Vasti. But now he asked the eunuchs, the wise men, what is it that should be done to Vasti? What can we do to Vasti? And now let's go to the next verse. And Memukan answered. Somebody say Memukan. Somebody say Memukan. Now, what is it? See, the man, he is a man, but under to this place, I said, man is what? A spirit. Somebody say a spirit. So, the spirit, Memukan, the spirit within him began to release words into the atmosphere. Memukan answered in the presence of the king and the officials, vastly the king, the queen has not only wronged the king, but also all the officials, the royal representatives, and all the people who are in the province. Of, I mean, surely. Are you listening to that? The guy says, Vasti has not just wronged the king. But who did Vasti wrong? The king. But the spirit of Memukan amplifies your evil. The spirit of Memukan are spirits you find in your offices. Spirit of Memukan, they amplify your evil. You do one little thing, they amplify your evil. Boss, this one, if you don't fire her, this company will collapse. That is the spirit of Memukan. I mean, Memukan said, Vasti has not wronged the king, but also all the officials, surely. Which officials did Vasti wrong? The spirit of Memukan amplifies evil before superiors to make sure you go down. That is a spirit. You have done something little, but the spirit of Memukan amplifies it. Any spirit of Memukan in your home, at your workplace, Today we decree and declare, let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Many people have lost positions because of the spirit of Memukan. Many people have lost their roles because of spirit of Memukan. Many people have lost favor before bosses because of this same spirit. Your boss would have been very good with you not, if not somebody amplified your evil. Somebody amplifies your evil. The spirit of Memukan exaggerates people's mistakes and errors. The spirit of Memukan, the next thing we hear is that the spirit of Memukan recommends excessive punishment. Excessive punishment for errors and mistakes that could have been easily be forgiven. That is what the spirit of Memukan does. See, she has not just wronged the king's side. She has wronged all of us. Next verse. And all the people huh? For let's hear what he said again. This guy kept speaking. The spirit of man is a dangerous spirit. And especially if someone operating with the spirit of Memukan is close to your boss, you are finished. Are you getting me? They will amplify your evil. Let's go. For the queen's conduct. Let's everyone, let's read one go. 
For the queen's conduct will become known to all women. She, who knew? It was only the people in the palace that knew. Not only all of them. Only seven people knew this thing. But Memu Khan is exaggerating the matter. He says the queen's conduct will be known by all women. Are you getting it? Will be <laughs> causing them to look on, on their husbands with contempt, disrespect. Since the uh -huh, King Hasros commanded Queen Vasti to be brought before him, but she did not come. May the spirit of Memu come be destroyed. Everyone in your home, at your workplace. In the church operating with the spirit of Memukan, Ikatuni Migata, may they catch fire, may they catch fire, may they catch fire, may they catch fire. They exaggerate your errors, make you look bad before superiors. The spirit of Memukan. If you are here and you also have that spirit, we deliver you. For the queen's conduct will become known to all. How will the queen's conduct get to get out of the palace if it is not known? But Memu Khan's spirits exaggerate your errors. Memu Khan's spirit, I said, recommend swift and quick removal of your privileges and honor. They recommend swift and quick removal of your privileges. You have a company car, they say, ah, boss, this one. I saw the car. In a certain place. Maybe it was not even you. Are you getting the point? Yeah. Swift. Removal of your privileges. Memukan spirit recommends removal and replacement of people. You will be replaced. They will tell you, me, you don't know me in this organization. They have not told you. I will finish you. And if not, if you are not careful, they will make sure they, they, they replace you from your role. But I pray for you. Anybody with the memo can spirit that will try to fight you, fight your role, may Jehovah fight them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Memukan spirit. Every voice of Memukan we nullify. Every voice of Memukan we nullify. Every voice of Memukan we nullify. In the name of Jesus. We nullify every Memukan spirit. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Says for the king's conduct. Now let's hear the next thing. Let's hear, let's hear his recommendation. He didn't just mess the woman up. He recommended her removal. This very day, the ladies of Persia and Media who have heard the queen's refusal, nobody heard it. Will speak in the same way to all king's officials and there will be plenty of contempt and anger. Memuka, let's go. Next verse. If it, now hear the recommendation. If it pleases the king, let the royal command be issued by him and let it be written in the laws of Media. See, Anything those days that was written in the laws of the media and Persia means it cannot be altered. It cannot be changed. So in other words, let us put a command, I mean a new law, so that it cannot be repaired or modified. The vasty no longer read it. Vasty no longer does what? And let the king give her royal position to another. Oh my God. May every memu can be destroyed. May every memu can be destroyed. Your position shall not be taken. Oh, your position shall not be replaced. Your role shall not be given to another. Yes. I prophesy over your life. Yes. What belongs to you shall not go to another. The job that belongs to you shall not go to another. Amen. The position Position that belongs to you shall not go to another. Amen. Any memukan that shall be used by the devil yes. to fight your job, yes. fight your career, yes. fight your business. Yes. Today, under this altar, yes. 
we declare let the agenda catch fire 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 if you are here shall fire anybody intending to remove you from your position the king didn't remove sometimes it is your CEO has no problem with you your boss has but there is a memo can there is a memo can spreading bad information wrong information about you but I pray for you in the name of Jesus may yes. Jehovah preserve you Amen. may your robe be preserved Amen. may your robe be preserved 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 in the name of Jesus Say no one shall take my place. No one shall take my place. No one shall take my job. No one shall take my job. No one shall touch my finances. No one shall touch my finances. Whatever belongs to me. Whatever belongs to me. I prophesy. I prophesy. It, shall come to me. it 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 shall come to me. In the name oh, of Jesus. Kani me habaya. If they hire anyone to take your position, yes. by the power of God, that person cannot perform. Yes. They cannot perform. Yes. They cannot perform. Yes. They cannot deliver. Yes. If you are here, shout, I receive. I receive. 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 Anybody that shall be brought to stand in your spotlight. Yes. Because of wrong information, it yes. we, we overthrow, we overthrow, we overthrow, we overthrow, we overthrow, we overthrow, we overthrow. In the name of Jesus, see some of you, you lost your marriages and your relationship because of a mamukan. A mamukan. They saw you as a party. They said you were you were cheating. Information was relayed. And the man did not have the patience to wait. I prophesy. Prophesy. Any can spirits. Yes. Hatimi gatu da bahaya. Lekete de patua lata. Ike timi atoni mi ataya. Let every memu can spirit. Yes. Let it cast fire. 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 In the name of oh, Jesus. Memu can target your destiny. To make sure, imagine Vasti was at the helm of affairs. She was at the zenith of performance and, 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 and her life. She was the queen for that matter. But a man, a spirit of operating in a man overthrew her just by one word. Son, you shall not lose your job because of a man's word. Ay, 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 ay. You shall not lose your marriage because of somebody's word. Yes. You shall not lose your business because of what someone said. Yes. I pray over your life yes. in the name of Jesus. What belongs to you shall come to you. What belongs to you shall come to you. What belongs to you shall come to you. In the name of Jesus. I know somebody. Two months to her wedding. Somebody got up and said, ah, this one. My brother has finished her. My colleague has finished her. All the people I know has finished her. And imagine the man knows all those guys. So the man feels like, I'm going to marry this one that everybody I know has finished. I can't handle this matter. Meanwhile, they have not even finished her. Are you understanding? You understand the meaning of the word finish? Okay. Just wrong information just messes somebody's marriage up. Kadu dabaya. Illa kadu tu dabranta. May every memu can spirit fight in your marriage. Let it cast fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. 
The other day, somebody called me and said, Papa, you, this guy you call your son, do you know him very well? I said, yes, I know him. Do you know he has done this, he has done this? I said, he did it, but not to me. Never, I never ever judge people based on other people's experiences. No. Never. Because that is not my experience. I don't know the circumstances under which the person behaved that way. Are you getting me? Yes. Jesus asked the disciples, who do men say that I am? And they said, you are, you are the Christ, you are, you are a, a Elijah, you are this, you are that. Then Jesus asked them, who do you say that I am? In other words, there is a difference between the perception of men as it concerns a person and your own perception as it concerns the person. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. So if you judge a man based on other people's perception, for all you know, they may be lying. For all you know, there may be other reasons why they are saying what they are saying just to make sure that you don't connect with the person. But any evil perception men have about you, yes. I declare, let it be nullified. 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 In the name of Jesus. The spirit of Memukan contends against your destiny and your life. Make sure you are replaced from authority. I remember um, 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 there's a lady here that somebody was hired above her. She has worked with a company for a long time and someone was hired above her to do what she used to do. Imagine. And she told me, I said, don't worry my daughter, we shall pray. It was not long. The person that was hired said she can't function. She couldn't find she, she left the organization. Nobody shall take your position. I said, nobody shall take your position. No See, sometimes, eh, let me tell you, leaders can be very crafty. In fact, there is an element of craftiness that is required in leadership. Cunningness. Sometimes they will tell you, you are the one for the job. Meanwhile, they are about to replace you. Are you getting my point? Yes! You are the one for the job. You have worked with them. For years in the company, for 10 years. Now they are about to replace you. In the mighty name of Yeshua. Yes. Nobody shall replace you. In no one shall replace you. Amen. 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 In the name oh, of Jesus. Jesus. Anybody that shall be released to replace you. Yes. They shall not function. Yes. They cannot function. Yes. They cannot function. Yes. They cannot function. Yes. In the name of Jesus. We are about to pray. We are standing. I couldn't go on the seven spirit, but I can't teach. Uh, maybe every Sunday we'll take one, all right? Next week we are going to deal with the Ziba spirit. Somebody say the Ziba spirit. The Ziba spirit. There is the Cain spirit. Say the Cain spirit. And the spirit of Herod, there are so many spirits that, that frustrates man. And we are going to declare, we are going to engage in seven Sundays of warfare to release things in the atmosphere. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Yes. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. See, if you cannot hear us and you want to feel free, you can go to the other floors. There's a lot of space. Are you getting me? Yes, the other floors. By the grace of so if you want to stay here, stay here, but I want to see you praying. Amen. One day, do you know what we will do? When you come to church, there will be no seat. You'll just be here to pray. I remember some, 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 some years back in, in my spiritual father's church, we were doing a conference. The last, I mean, when we got the conference, got to Friday, we entered the auditorium and there were no seats. People were like, what's happening? People, everybody was standing. So they were singing. He took them and said, from now, from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there will be no seat here. As you come, you stand, we pray, and we go home. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every memucan spirit. Every memucan spirit. Assigned to dishonor me. Assigned to dishonor me. Assigned to discredit me. Assigned to discredit me. Assigned to fight my destiny. Assigned to fight my destiny. I declare. I declare. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. As I lift up my voice, I begin to pray. 
and I nullify every Memukan spirit. Lift up your voice, Kato Shabranta, Rabababala Branta Tanama Kato Shabra, Rabababala Branta Tanama Kosha Branta, Rabababala Branta Tanama Kosha Bar, Rabababala Branta Tana Branta, Rabababala Branta, Celebrate Bosca Branta, Rabababala Branta Tanama Kosha, Lady Bosca Branta, Rabababala Branta. Radada Bashua Anta, Rababa Bala Branta, La Banda Bashua Anta, Tanana Cabranta, Rababa Bala Branta, Rababa Bala Branta, Tala Branta, Tala Ha 
Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anybody intending to remove me from my position. Anybody intending to remove me from my position. Hear me. Let me before we go on, let me tell you. Sometimes eh, when you are busy working hard yeah. to maintain what you have, somebody is scheming how to displace you. Fire. They are planning how to remove you from position. Fire. You think you 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 you, th you may think that oh you you are doing your small thing in your small corner. Somebody will be spreading evil rumors. They just heard that you have gotten a new position. They just want to make sure you are displaced. Sometimes you 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 get say um 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 um. You get small, small boyfriend. Say small boyfriend. Small boyfriend. Things are moving where you, you made a mistake and you posted me and my bae on Instagram. Me and my bae. And before you realize, bae has disappeared to Kakamega, not to return. Let me tell you a story. A very true story. Let me tell you a story. A mother and a son and another lady were sitting in a taxi. And then the lady's phone began to ring. And you know, the phone came on a WhatsApp call and the picture, you know what's up? The profile picture comes up, yeah? The DP comes up. The picture comes. And the man, the lady has written my baby. So as the picture was like that, the, the child says, mommy, tells the mother, daddy is calling auntie's phone. They don't know each other. No, are you getting what I'm saying? Okay, let me ex ex explain. A mother and a son got into a taxi. On the way, they pick another random lady also in the taxi. Let me say my touch. Three, a mother with a son in a matatu. And another lady gets into the matatu. And a man calls the other lady that just joined the matatu. And the lady has saved the man, my baby. So the picture came up. And the mother and the son, the son saw the picture. Say, said, mommy, see, daddy is calling auntie. Hey. And auntie's phone, it is my baby. Are you getting it now? So, somebody's daddy. Somebody's baby. Fire. <laughs> Should I tell you where it happened? It didn't happen from far There's a name they give to Nairobi. What's it called? Can I, here, 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 here. I am then somebody. Prophet, can you imagine what I'm seeing? My husband's picture on another woman's phone as my baby. I said, God punish the devil. Nobody shall take what belongs to you. Amen. Nobody shall stand in your spotlight. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father. Anybody assigned, Anybody assigned to replace me, to replace me tonight, tonight, this afternoon, this afternoon I, declare, I declare, cast fire. Cast fire. Thank you. Your job shall not be replaced. Amen. Your finances will not be replaced. Amen. Your privileges will not be taken away from Amen. you. Your position shall not be taken. Amen. If you are here, shout, I receive. I receive. We are taking four prayer points and then we are out of here. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Right now. Right now. Anybody. Anybody. That has been assigned. Has been assigned to stand in my spotlight. As I clap and pray. I remove them. I remove them. 
I removed him. I removed him. I removed him. Lift up your voice. Italia Makolua Atata Rapapa La Branta Italia Maso Italia Atoni Mikapa Atala La 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 Maso Rapapa La Branta Ta Rapalia Patolia Pata Rada Da 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 Branta Ta Rapapa La Branta Ta Italia Patolia Pata Rapapa La Branta Ta Rapapa La Crato Constantly repeated can be taken as a truth. When somebody says, someone was telling me, a very senior person was telling me, Prophet, do you know at some point I was being told I am crazy to an extent that she started believing? Can you imagine that? 
an intelligent man. I mean, people started telling him he's not okay. To an extent that he felt that he needed help. You are declaring. The Bible says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. But the scripture does not end there. The Bible says, and every weapon, every tank that lifts itself against you, what should you do? You shall condemn. Yes. You are going to nullify every evil word. Yes. Every satanic decree ever made that. Let me tell you, there are some people, eh? They are just marking time with you. They just want to fire you. They have not just gotten your replacement. Just because of a negative word somebody told them. Fire. There are some people. They know you. This, something that was told them has entered their heart about you. To an extent that they have closed their minds. In, in their readiness to help you. They are not even ready to help you any longer. But may God nullify that evil word. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, if you come here Sunday afternoon, we are here to pray. Say, we are here to pray. We are here to pray. So, I want you to be ready to pray. You could have been in, in some nice place eating some nyamachoma. But if you sacrifice to be here for three hours, you must be ready to pray. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yes. So, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every evil word. Every evil word. Declared against me. Declared against me. Every evil word. Every Spoken against me, I declare is nullified. Is nullified. I nullify every satanic word, any evil word from my superiors, every evil word from my colleagues, every evil word from my family, every evil word. From even, God, from even men of God, from people of God, from people of God release, against me, release against me. I nullify. 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 Lift up your voice. Rabba baba bala brasha bala branta hazele de 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 ikelele hatalia patolia pa iye matua la pa iya branta taluata rabba baba baba luata hatolia patolia bata iye malia tata rabba baba pa alabada branta da branta rabba baba bala sha hasole de 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 Ie maluata raba baba bala branta raba baba la branta la branta raba baba la branta raba bala branta itere de 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 bosha raba baba la branta paria baba raba bala branta la branta bala branta lift up your voice lift up your voice lift up your voice lift up your voice ale masota Ale kado shaba, raba baba la branta, raba baba, raba baba, raba baba, raba baba. Hasele le 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 le, italu atata, raba baba baba la branta, raba baba la branta, raba baba la branta. Etele le 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 le, italu atata, raba baba la branta, raba baba la branta. Raba baba la branta, hasole be kapa, hale malo shaka, hala la branta ta, itele le 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 le, itele le 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 le, ira na bro shaka, raba baba la branta, raba baba la branta, itele le 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 bo sha, raba baba la branta, hale mako, hasone ne 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 ta, raba baba la bra, raba baba la branta ta. Take me 
me back to the scripture. Esther 1 verse 18. Quickly. Esther 1 18. Say no one shall stand in my spotlight. Now hear me, hear me, hear me. We are here to pray. I said to you, if you are not comfortable, go to first floor, second floor. There is a lot of space. You can pray there. You can hear us. There is sound. There is everything. Shall we read? Now. Verse 18. Go to um, verse 17. Verse 17. Now, he says, for the queen's conduct will become known to all women, causing them to look on their husbands with disrespect. Now, what Vasti did, it was only seven people that saw. Isn't it? Yes. Only seven. But Memu Khan exaggerated her error. Anybody intending to exaggerate your mistakes In the name of Jesus. to your bosses, we declare, let their evil backfire. backfire. Only seven people heard it, but Memu Khan made the thing look like Vasti has wronged the entire nation. They are, they are people, they, are, they carry Memukan spirit. They will amplify your mistakes. Amplify your errors. It says, for the queen's conduct will be known to all women. No woman was there. No woman heard the story. But Memukan said, everybody will hear. It says, they will say, in a house, let's go to verse 18. Uh -huh. Verse 18. This day, the ladies of Persia and Midian who have heard. Did anybody hear? No. Nobody heard. Who have heard of the queen's refusal to speak. In, will speak in the same way to the kings of Persia. And there will be plenty of contempt and anger. The man was literally infiltrating the king. The man was making the king angry even the more. Vasti did wrong. Yes. But the question is Memu can amplify it. Yes. The next verse, the next verse, verse 19. That is where I like. It says, if it please now, number one, Memukan's spirit does not just amplify your errors, it also recommends your removal. Say, every Memukan spirit, every Memukan spirit, intending to remove me from position, intending to remove me from my position, catch fire, catch fire. Says, now hear what Memukan said. Said, if it pleases the king, let a royal command be issued by him and let it be written in the laws of the Medians and Persians so that it cannot be repelled or modified. When something was written in the men in the Medo Persian law by the king, it cannot be changed. Once it is written, it is final. In other words, sir, let it be written that it can no longer be changed. That what will happen? That Vasti is no, that Vasti no longer come before the king. In other words, her position is displaced. Imaduni me gadua. Anybody intending to displace your position, oh, yeah. let them catch fire. fire. Let them catch fire. fire. Now you are. This is the next prayer. Anybody recommending evil to your boss, oh, yes. speaking wrong, wrong information. Fire. You see, maybe you are not in corporate. You are maybe your, your own boss, so these things don't happen to you. People that work in offices, public offices, I mean private offices, they, you, they see how evil people can just be replaced by one word. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anybody, anybody speaking ill, speaking Ill intending to replace me, intending to replace me, intending to take my position. We decree and declare by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let your agenda be aborted. Let your plan be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, as we lift up our voice, we take our position. We take our role. Italia Batua la Branta, Rabba Baba Koshata, Ite Ataliata, Rabba Baba la Branta, Azolia Brasota, Father with the class, Lima Kushata, Rabba Baba Lua Kataya, Italia Batua, Azoni Mekapa, Rabba Baba, Atoliata, Ray Matoria, Isele Kapanda. Rapa papa, rapa papa, 
Hey, Masota, Asone ne kapa. No one shall take your position. 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 Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I take my place. Take my place. What, belongs what belongs to me shall come to me. Come to me. I, prophesy I prophesy to the four winds, the four winds. And, I and I command let them release, let them release. What, belongs what belongs to me. I speak to the land, I speak to the land. And, I and I declare it shall yield for me. Me. My harvest, my harvest. Whatever, whatever God, God has, ordained has ordained me to have, me to have. In, this land, in this land, I claim without fear, I, claim without I, take, fear. Over. I take over in the name of Jesus. I prophesy open doors, 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 lift up your voice and pray. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I decree and declare. My doors are open. My doors are open. I enter. I enter. I take possession, I take possession of, what belongs to me. of what belongs to me. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. No memukan no shall, shall displace me. Nobody, Nobody shall take my position. Shall take my position. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. I am favored. Favored, 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 favored. 
May unusual grace be released over your life. I receive. Unusual favor be released over your life. I receive. I prophesy over your life. Professor. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Every door that was shut is opened. Amen. I hear God say there are healings that are happening right now. I receive. Strange sicknesses are being healed. 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 I Strange sicknesses are being healed. Strange sicknesses are being healed. In the name of Jesus. Mahali Migado Shabaya. This can go another one go. place called Kani. That's where you, that's your village. Just like you on the streets of Galilee. You are doing the same today. And like you heal the sea, can you raise the dead? You are doing the same today. And you say Lazarus, come on, come on. You are doing the same today. the spirit I see you driving something like a very big and beautiful van in the spirit and you were climbing with a van and there were a lot of machines in the van and every place you you enter like a barrier the barrier opens automatically you it's open and it's open but you were about to enter into a very big office with those machines and all of a sudden it's like a bird flew all the way from Kani and put on the windscreen and you couldn't see again. The revelation is simple. God is about to take you and your business to another level. But as you are just about to secure a mega door, the big place you were supposed to enter was a big job and big contract for you. And the machines I saw in the van represents what you do. And the spirit of the Lord said, there is a mega door you are supposed to enter that will change your life for good. 
But now I saw a bird fly all the way from Kani and obstructed what God was doing with him. The saints the Lord wanted to obstruct, I beg your pardon. Saints the Lord, every evil from your background assigned to stop you shall not stop you. Amen. Every mega door you need to open, enter. Yes. Prophetically, I declare. Yes. Under this grace, you shall enter. Amen. Are you believing God to secure some major contracts this year? Yes. Major? Yes. I decree and declare. Amen. May they manifest. Amen. Because I saw every place you entered, the door open. Like a barrier, automatic barrier. It just opened for you. It just opened. But now there was this big place you are supposed to enter. All of a sudden, the windscreen was covered by a demonic bird. Every demonic bird from your village assigned against your destiny. I prophetically declare, yes. let your assignment backfire. Fire. Let it backfire. Fire. Let it backfire. Fire. Let it backfire. Fire. I release grace over your life. Amen. Wherever they have, whoever they have sent, yes. every arrow they have released yes. against your life. Yes. The Bible says, for this purpose, the son of man was crucified, that he may destroy the works of the enemy. We destroy every satanic agenda. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we push you to destiny. Yes. Sir, the Lord is telling me, I should tell you, that if you will walk in faithfulness to him, this year and the coming year, your money you cannot spend. Amen. If you learn to be faithful to God with what he gives you, I'm telling you, I see because doors were just opening. Barriers were opening for you just like that. What do you do? Um, I deal with machines. Also. You do with machines? What type of machines? Um, the cement and sugar machines. And I saw machines in the van. Just like you on the streets of Galilee. You are doing this here today. over the work of your hands. Yes. May heaven prosper the work of your hands. Amen. Amen. You shall never run dry. Amen. I declare favor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Unusual favor in higher offices. Amen. In the name oh, of Jesus. Jesus. Everyone raise your right hand. The Bible says that Jesus died and he's seated at the right hand of God. Right hand is a place of power. It's a place of influence. Amen. And I've told you from this Sunday, every other Sunday for the next, actually the next almost seven Sundays, I'm going to be here every Sunday, except on the 18th that I'll be in Dallas. But right, I fin once I finish in Dallas, I'll be coming back here. We will be making prophetic prayers. Somebody say prophetic prayers. Prophetic prayers. Don't stay at home. You stay at, your, at home at your own detriment. Are you hearing me? Yes. Be here and be ready to connect and to pray. To open the heavens over you. Right hand signifies power. It signifies influence. It signifies skill. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I lift my right hand. As I lift my right hand. I declare. I declare. Favor. Favor. Is my portion. Is my portion. The Lord. The Lord. Shall bless. Shall bless. The work. The work. Of my hands. Of my hands. I declare. I declare. The work of my hands. The works of my hands. Are blessed. 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 In the name. The of Jesus. Of Jesus. Is that? Amen. May heaven cover you and your family. Amen. Every attack against your home, I declare it is abetted. In Jesus' name. Is there anybody here? You are connected to the name Ahuta. Ahuta. You are. Let me say something. God is going to do unusual things. Somebody say unusual things. Unusual things. That 
to an extent that even when you least expect that God will bless you, he will still bless you. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. I command the heavens. I command the heavens. To open unto me. To open unto me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I prophetically declare. I prophetically declare. Open heavens. Open heavens. Open heavens. Open heavens. Pastor, let's come forward. Let me pray for you. The Lord said I should declare unto you. He is going to do a new thing in your life. Amen. The Lord said the time is going to come. He is going to take you to higher places. And higher realms. Amen. And I hear the Lord telling me. That I should tell you. That this year go back to school. Amen. The Lord is telling me. I should tell you to go back to school. Huh? You went in. Hey, the microphone is supposed to be used. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You went and did what? I took the forms and filled them this last month. You filled the form yes. for what? For school? Yes. No, shh. Have you ever told me this? Never. In certain levels that you need a higher level of education. A decree over your life. Amen. What God has purposed to do with you, no one can stop it. Amen. I declare unusual favor. Favor. Unusual favor. Favor. Unusual favor. Favor. May doors open unto you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. There's a lady on this row. Madam, are you, are you seated here? Are you a hooter? Do you know anybody from a place called Vihiga? Who? You, where are you from? You are from Uganda. But your aunties come from Vihiga. Hear me, madam. Any altar from Vita that restrain people and destinies. Yes. Say yes, the Lord, because of your presence here, they are broken for your sake. In Jesus' name. Amen. No evil altar shall fight your Amen. family again. Amen. Do you know that most of the people in your family, they struggle. Yes. Struggle, even marriage is a problem. Yes. Because there is an altar in Vihiga that fight against marriages and fight against progress of, men, of yes. women in the family. Yes. You know, yeah? Yes. Today, can I pray and break it for you? Yes. Because you are under this unction. I yes. Yes. Whatever power. Yes. Fighting your destiny. Yes. Fighting your family. Yes. Today in the name of Jesus. Yes. We declare let it break. 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 Break. Every evil altar fighting marriages. Yes. From Vihiga we declare let it break. Break. The Lord said as you pray for everybody from Vihiga. If you are from Vihiga raise your hand. Mr. Blenya, you are from Vihiga. There are a lot of lawyers here. All Vihiga people, come in, come in, come forward. Let me pray for you. If you are, all of you are from Vihiga. <laughs> no, we should go and open a branch there and we post you all of you there. <laughs> what? Hey. 
Wow. You are from Iga. <laughs> Shove off your hands towards these hands. Every power, you see, let me tell you, everyone, you hear me. Everybody here, I don't need to be a prophet to know that there is a force from the Higa that fights marriages. It is true. It is true, sir. It is true, sir. All of you here, I can confidently say most of you are due for marriage. Those that are married, out of all of you here, possibly two. And those that are even married, even you, you are struggling. And the rest are all not married. Fire. Is that not so? Yes. Any power from Vihiga? Yes. The fight marriages. Yes. Any power from your village. Yes. The fight marriages. Yes. Today I decree and declare. Yes. Let it break. 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 Break. In the name of Jesus. After today, yes, we decree and declare, let that altar in Vihiga be broken. Break. In the name of Jesus, we usher you into a new season and a new dimension. Amen. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus, we declare it down. Let me Amen. touch you, you sit down. You are delivered. 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 In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We command unusual favor. We command unusual favor. Right. I didn't touch you. Father, we declare she's delivered in Jesus' name. This is what I'm going to do. In the course of the year, I'll go to Vihiga myself. Amen. Amen. And deal with the forces yeah. and the powers that contend and all of you from Viga, we are going together. Yes. We are going to fight altars in your village. Yes. We will do a big crusade there. Amen. And by the time we are coming back, you shall be liberated. We receive. Hear me. I want to pray for a certain lady. You are called Esther. Your sister is called Irene. Quickly. Come this side. Stand here. I want to pray for you. And after service, I want you to do me a favor. You stand on the altar and pray for another 30 minutes. Are you in a hurry to go home? You are not in a hurry. Good. I want you to stand at this altar and pray for 30 minutes. And seven times, repeat that prayer at this altar seven times. And declare that whatever fights your destiny and your marital breakthrough must be broken. Amen. I see Esther. I see Irene. I see Robert. Who is Robert? My brother. Where is he? He works, he works there. Pray for Robert. I see January, July, February. January, February, July. When was Robert born? Which month? July. July. Ah, yeah. Which man 
month were you born? January. And then that means I saw January, February, and July. That means that Irene was born in February. Hey! 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 This can go another one go do. Your brother Robert is supposed to be shifted into a new glory. Amen. Your brother has suffered for a long time. You yourself as well. And your sister as well. Yes, sir. But today under this commission I pray. Yes. I see one leg of yours in Limuru and another leg of yours in Mombasa. Say yes, the Lord. Today, I'll give you oil. You go and pour on the land on which you were born. And you will declare that whatever fights your mother's children shall never fight you again. Amen. Hear me. This year, God must show himself strong in your life. Amen. You know, you have served God for a long time. Yes, sir. You have served. Who is saying yes? You know. <laughs> She served God for it is time for heaven to reward you. Amen. Amen. In the morning, I was teaching on service in the first service that when you serve, heaven rewards you. Amen. Not just come to church, but you serve. You are there's something you are doing in the house of God. And I pray over your life, Esther. May heaven reward you. Amen. Whatever restrains people in your family shall not restrain you anymore. Amen. In a satanic stronghold in Limuru, we break it. Amen. And we decree over your life a fresh start. Yes. A new beginning. Yes. In the name of, of Jesus. Kneel at the altar. Kneel down for me. Lift your hands. Everybody, stretch off your hands. Yourself. We break every stronghold. Break. We declare a new beginning. Yes. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jesus. I pray for you. Kanimi Alimi Gabazaya. Come here. Both of you. Come here. I see God connecting you to a major contract. In the UAE. I see God. There is a business you are doing. But I see people from UAE contacting you people. For a mega opening. Do you want international doors? Do you want international doors? Yes. I see people contacting you people. For some honey. Amen. From Dubai. For honey. Do you have a business in honey? Yes. You have a business in honey? Yes. Put your hand here. Your business shall not be local. Amen. I see there is a lady years ago. How many years now? It's been about three years ago. Or four. She was doing a very small business. She used to live in a place called Kitengela. Kite. And I called and I said, God is going to give you international assets that you'll be exporting your products. It was not long. Doors open. She started exporting the products in larger quantities. She started making money. She used to only take my tattoo. One day I was in London and God spoke to me and I called her. I was in prayer and God said, call this woman and tell her 
a mega door is about to open. I called her. She was in a matatu. She says that day she was going to commit suicide. Because of how life has treated her. She was, and I was just in prayer. God told me, call this number. I, I'm telling you, I did not even know the number. God gave me a number to call. I called the number. I said, who are you? He says, my name is Prophet. He said, Prophet, how did you get my name? I said, God is telling me that he's going to open doors for you. Amen. And God opened doors for her. She became wealthy. She bought a car. Bought a house. Started buying things. Amen. The next time I was calling her, God me say, Papa, you know, I am very busy. Fire. Papa, the blessing is too much. Papa, I am very busy. I said, it's okay. You'll be busy. The day the demons will come, you look for Papa. And what will happen? Papa will also be Me, I'm a very simple man. When you are busy, I also become busy. You understand? Mother, God is going to bless you too. Amen. Because what I'm seeing, I'm seeing something big. Amen. How big is your business? It's big, eh? Growing. It's growing. Yeah. You say it's big. It's growing. They are trying to be humble. It's growing. <laughs> <laughs> I release unusual favor over you. Amen. Hold my hand. Bring your other hand. Yes. I lift your hands before heaven. Amen. And I decree may heaven favor you. Yes. May heaven favor you. Yes. May heaven favor you. Yes. May Jehovah favor the work of your hands. Yes. In the name of, of Jesus, Jesus, I decree unusual favor. Favor. Shall come upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sir, there's a gentleman at the back. Do you know that there's a call of God upon your life? Yeah, you are turning your head, you. You don't know. Come, let me pray for you. Today is your first time of coming here. Come here. If you prepare yourself well, you'll be in the marketplace, do whatever you do, and God will still use you. Amen. God is waiting for vessels to be used. Then I see God use you as a vessel unto his glory. Amen. Father, let that which you are purposed to use your man servant for, let it manifest. Yes. 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 In the name of Jesus. My time is up. Madam, get up. I speak over your life. Yes. Every spirit, every anti marriage spirit in your life, I cancel it. Cancel it. I break the hold of spirits that frustrate your marriage life. Break. And I decree and declare a fresh start and a new beginning. Yes. May God do a new thing in your life. Yes. Any stronghold, any evil veil. If you are a single woman, place your hand on your forehead like this. Do you know what single means? Do you know what the word single means? Huh? I've explained it over and over again. Who can help me explain? If you are single, it means what? You are what? You are not married. When you are not married, what does it mean? You are single. If your partner's family members know you and you know them and no dowry has been paid for you, you are still Single. lift your hands. Let me pray for you. I release unusual favor. Amen. Every evil veil I remove. Yes. Veils that covers your face. Yes. For men to see you. Yes. For women to notice you. Yes. I decree and declare it is removed. In, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. I decree may God command the right man to pay dowry for you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Is that? Amen. This kind God. Another one, not a one. Who here? You have
have a medical report, something that's got to do with bones. Your bones. Medical report. Come here. A medical report. Come here. Medical report. Something that got to do with your bones. I see a medical report on it. It's written osteo something something. And osteo what? Osteo. Wow. See, see, this is prophetic medicine. Professor. I'm, I'm, now, this is dangerous. Prophetic medical consultant. Wow. He says osteoarthritis. Arthritis. Every osteoarthritis. Yes. Now, I was in Ghana um, um, last week, and my son said something very profound that the devil can attack you so much that you begin to know, you become like a doctor. You know strange diseases. Imagine, like, I mean, I mean, Minister Mary, knowing osteoarthritis. Surely, it is not your portion. Jesus' name. Huh? All right. What's it? Osteo what? Also, osteoarthritis. Or something osteo different. Okay. Stretch off your hands. Let me pray for you. Church, let's stretch off our hands. Any medical condition you have, if you have a medical report, God told me this year, strange diseases will disappear. Actually, Amen. sorry, last year. We have seen stage 4 cancer disappear in this house. Yes. We have seen HIV 10, negative 10, positive 10, negative. Yes. Here, we have the results. So, if God could do all those, I don't know whatever medical report you have. As we use these people as a point of contact. Yes. Every bone disease, I declare you are healed. Yes. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yes. Receive your healing. In the name of Jesus. We overturn every evil report. Yes. In Jesus, matchless name, have we prayed. Amen. Now, if you know any memucan at your workplace, some of you, you have memucans. They amplify your mistakes. They just want you to look back. I pray you, it is done. You are healed. I mean, today, Prosper gave me a testimony. This week, I mean, the mother was supposed to undergo a surgery. Come, isn't it? You told me the testimony today. Was it your mother? Is it? Huh? Your mother, yeah? My mother was, was admitted to hospital mm -hmm. uh, for a chest con for yeah. chest of congestion. Mm -hmm. On the same day, mm -hmm. my nephew mm -hmm. was uh, brought in, mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. in the house. Uh -huh. So he was rushed to the hospital uh -huh. with an ambulance. For surgery. For surgery. Yes, yes, I remember that one. Uh -huh. I told you about it. You told, and we prayed. prayed. And the doctor said what? Before the, before the doctor made a decision, mm -hmm. I, uh, I believe, and I sent you a text, mm -hmm. and, and I believe that it was going to be cancelled. Yes. And then when, they report, when, when I got the pickup back, my sister says the surgery has been cancelled. The surgery has been what? Cancelled. Any evil surgery, we cancel it. In Jesus' name. We cancel every surgery. Yes. Every evil medical report. Yes. Let me tell you. If you come, if you are under this auditorium, whether directly or indirectly, whether you are connected to this altar directly or indirectly, I can confidently tell you, no strange disease can kill you. Amen. No evil disease can kill you. Amen. No evil disease can kill you. Amen. No evil disease can kill you. Amen. No disease can kill you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, I decree and declare, yes. evil medical reports we overturn. Yes. In Jesus yes. name. We declare it done. Amen. Now, if you have a memo, can next week Sunday write the name of that person? Anybody you know, the person is discrediting and dishonoring you. All right? Write their names. You, have a seat. Write their names on, on an envelope. On, a, on an envelope and bring it here. We will hold it before God in prayer. Amen. And we will declare that may their evil plans backfire. Are you hearing me? Yes. Any men who can torment in your life. Yes. We shall deal with them. Yes. Amen? Amen. Yes. Nobody shall take stand in your spotlight. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Take a seat and lift it up. Take a seat and lift it up if you can. Take a seat and lift it up. Take a seat and lift it up quickly if you can. Mali me gado shabaya.
Lift it up. If you have a seat in your hand, just lift it up. Just find any seat. Next week, the prophetic instruction is write your memo can. If you don't have any memo can, don't write anybody. Just come. And find a sacrifice and put it in that envelope and bring it. And we will declare. The number 13 is a number for is a, it's a number for rebellion and attack. Just find a seat with the number 13. Next week, write your memo can on this envelope and just bring it. And the heaven shall speak over you. Now take your lift your seat up. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We decree and declare. We decree and declare. By the mandate of Jehovah. By the mandate of Jehovah. By this seed. By this seed. Let the heavens. Let the heavens. Open unto me. Open unto me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I drop my seed at the altar. As I drop my seed. This week. This week. Let doors open. Let doors open. Let me hear good news. Let me hear good in news. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Let's go. Come and drop it at the altar if you can. This can go another one, no. This can go another one, no. This can go another one, no. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Are you blessed you came to church? Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for tonight. We appreciate God for today. God bless you for coming. And uh, God willing, if you are tight, come forward. If you have released your tight, come forward. Let me pray for you. If you have your tight with you or you've released your tight, tight is one-tenth of your income. You honor God. Come forward. If, I, if you were prayed for before in the first service, you don't need to come forward. I mean, if you have not been prayed for, you are in the second service, you have your tithes, come forward with your tithe, or you have sent your tithes electronically, um, just come forward, let me pray for you. These days, the choir members are very doing very well with tithing. Come on, appreciate the choir. They are doing well. They are doing well. They are doing well. They are doing well. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for these lives. As they have honored you with their tithes, may you honor them in your word that says you open the windows of heavens unto them and bless them with a blessing that they cannot have room to contain. I release the priestly blessing over your life. Yes. I declare you blessed, favored. No devourer shall be able to devour your finances. Yes. No devourer shall devour your career. Yes. You are covered, you are preserved. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we declare it done with thanksgiving. Amen. And everyone said amen. amen. Be blessed. Be blessed. Hallelujah. God bless you. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Is there anyone that is fellowshipping with us for the first time? It's your first time of coming here. Anyone? Let me see you by hand. It's your first time of coming here. Don't leave the auditorium, not unless I've told you to leave. Don't leave the auditorium unless, not unless I've told you to leave. Let me see you by hand. Raise your after service. You all meet here, and then I will personally speak to you after service. The the the, the, um, the hospitality team will meet you, and I will speak to you briefly. Amen. 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 Are you blessed you came to the house of God? Let's appreciate Pastor Majakuzi. Come on. Appreciate Pastor Joshua Majakuzi. I mean, he was with me in Ghana. And uh, he's with me. Oh, come on. Wonderful. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Pastor Daniel. Pastor Beatrice. Pastor Joshua. Pastor Justice. 
Come on, I appreciate all the men of God and the women of God. Pastor Lays, Prophetess Grace. Come on, I appreciate them. Amen. Oh, we have got Pastor Dennis from JCC here. Come on, I appreciate Pastor Dennis. Pastor Dennis have a lot of fans. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bless you, Pastor Dennis, too. I mean, God bless you for passing through. We thank God for your life. Amen. And we thank God we've got Honorable Kate here. Come on, appreciate her. With a, she came with a friend. What's your name? Julia. Julia. Yes, come on. She, Honorable came with Julia. Come on, appreciate them. Hallelujah. Honorable was with me in Ghana as well. Hallelujah. How many of us were, came to the Ghana conference? Powerful. It was awesome. Mega. Awesome conference. Next year, we are all going together. Hallelujah. How many of you are going to Ghana with me next year? Yes, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be dangerous. How many of us are going to Dallas with me next month? Uh, uh, you, are not going, you don't want to go to Dallas. See, so you don't have faith. You don't have faith that you can get a visa. You don't have faith. May you receive international favor. God bless you. Let's be upstanding. 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 Let's be outstanding. Let's make our declarations for the year. Is that is that a order? I mean, I'm, I, are you the one or somebody else? Okay. Come on, let's make declarations for the year. One go. In the name of Jesus. Uh-huh. I'm fulfilling my purpose. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I have ownership of properties. In the name of Jesus, I am taking my rightful position in career, in business church and community in the name of Jesus I am attaining perfection in every aspect of my life in the name of Jesus I am demonstrating and working in the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus the Lord has connected me to the right partner in every aspect of my life in Jesus name we pray Amen. Amen. Please remember on the 10th of March is our Kesha. Somebody say Kesha. Kesha. Even if you are dying, postpone your death and be here. It's going to be awesome, mega, and prophetic. We're going to have Godwill Babette in the house. Amen? Amen? It's going to be dangerous. Somebody say dangerous. dangerous. We're going to have Ruth Mateta in the house. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to have Pastor Percy in the house. Hallelujah. Amen. And our able choir is going to be here. Amen. It's going to be oily. Amen? Yes. I mean, this 3rd of March all night is going to be serious. So come, come with what I call your tool of trade. Say tool of trade. Tool of trade. Anything that represents the work you do. We are going to be speaking over the work of our hands. Are you listening to me? Yes. It's a prophetic meeting. So come, come with your company ID. I mean, I mean somebody, I'm a friend of mine in parliament says, I will come with my, she heard me announce it on, 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 on. On online, it says, I will come with my ID from parliament. I said, just come. You are going to declare that from now, doors will open for you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Anything that represents the work you do, come with it. For the 3rd of March all night. It's going to be mega. We will be praying and heaven shall speak over you. Amen. Are you blessed you came to church? Yes. yes after church service, there is tea and, and bread for every one of you. Enjoy and feel free. Eat and drink as much as you can on my account, and the Lord will bless you. Hallelujah. Let's share the grace with one accord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Let's share the confession of faith. Prophesy by yourself. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoints my head with oil, and my cup runs over surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let me give you a secret. Even if you don't know how to pray, declare Psalm 23 over yourself every day. It's a prophetic message. 
Let's take our, our prophetic song as we go home. Bless me and keep me. Come on, sing it. Make his face shine upon me and be gracious to me. The Lord died. Come on, sing it. Face towards me and give me peace. Say it again to the Lord. Lord bless me and keep me. Make his face shine upon me and be gracious to me. The Lord God is face on me and give me peace. Oh, amen. Ah. Children and my children and their children.